Welcome back to CBS This Morning. During the pandemic, we've relied on those hand sanitizers to help keep us safe. But now an independent study suggests some products may be having the exact opposite effect. Researchers detected higher than allowed levels of benzene in 21 products from 15 different brands. CBS News found some of those products for sale on major retailers' websites. Chronic exposure to benzene is known to cause blood disorders, including leukemia. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, joins us to explain. John, I was complaining about dry hands. It sounds so good after listening to that. What more do we know? Good morning, Gail. The company Valisher says it found elevated levels of benzene in a small percentage of the 260 products it tested. The leading brand Purell and many others had no detectable levels of benzene. But for the ones on the list, Valisher has petitioned the FDA to launch an investigation and recall. Honestly, I was shocked. Uh, I was shocked that we were finding benzene at all. It, it might very well be the most well-known compound that is dangerous to humans. David Light now, runs Valisure, an independent not, lab and pharmacy that tests drug products for quality. Over the last several months, they started finding benzene, a known carcinogen, in some hand sanitizers. Valisure's chief scientific morning. officer, Corey Kuchera, walked us through the testing process. So this peak represents the amount of benzene that's in this bottle? Correct. And that's high? That's high. In the early days of the pandemic, the FDA relaxed standards on benzene levels in liquid hand sanitizers, according to Dr. Leonardo Trasande. There was uh, an effort to really increase hand sanitizers and the availability because a lot of people were purchasing them and supply was running low. The FDA allowed liquid hand sanitizers to contain benzene in a concentration of up to two parts per million. Valisure tested hundreds of products for benzene. It sounds like the bottom line is there are a lot of products that pass, that, that are okay. That's true. But there are a few of them that really failed. Yeah. Valisure says of 260 products, 21 from 15 brands tested above the FDA interim limit. The top three tested between six to eight times higher than allowed. Batches of this sanitizer with a baby Yoda on the front contain nearly double the allowable amount. Attempts to get a response from manufacturer Best Brands Consumer Products were unsuccessful. CBS News found the product available on Amazon, who told CBS News it is investigating the products in question. There's no reason for that kind of a product to be on the market. It, it just should not be permitted. Dr. Daniel Teitelbaum is an expert on benzene exposure. He warns benzene absorption could be increased in workers who use a hand sanitizer contaminated with benzene, then put on gloves that prevent evaporation. If you're not wearing gloves over them, the risk is quite low because your skin is warm, you use that, the benzene will evaporate quite rapidly. And there are people who have special risks. It's a lot of healthcare personnel. It's a lot of cleaning and sanitation people. And what about if they continue to use it, say, over the years to come? Well, the longer you use it, the greater the risk. In a statement, the Walt Disney Company said it launched independent testing on the Baby Yoda sanitizer and has instructed Best Brands to withdraw the product until more is learned. If you want to see which products were flagged by Valisure, we've shared their research on CBSNews.com. The FDA says they're reviewing Valisure's petition and continue to test sanitizer products and monitor the market. So, John, first, yikes. Uh, and second, if benzene is a known carcinogen and so well known, how is it ending up in hand sanitizers in the first place? Tony, it's not supposed to be there. And Dr. Teitelbaum explained to me that one possible way it gets there is that companies need to purchase alcohol for the san hand sanitizer. And they may get it from a place that manufactures it from crude oil. And that can be a contaminant. Benzene can be a contaminant of the crude oil processing uh, situation. So um, we're going to need the FDA to look into this more and uh, hopefully they'll get back with an answer and, and, a, and a ruling about this sooner rather than later. All right. And we've got those products to, to watch on our website. John, thank you very much. A reminder, you can always get the morning's news by subscribing to the CBS This Morning podcast. You'll hear the day's top stories in less than 20 minutes.